Okay, so now if we're considering a many particled system and we're trying to find the work done on a many particled system, well, first of all, in the previous one, we, we looked at the work done on a single particle, right? And let's see if I can find that equation. Remember, this is what it was for a single particle. Um, we had the sum of the forces times the displacement of that particle. That gave us the work done on the particle. However, um, if you recall, when we, when we deal with many, a many-particle system, often we want to consider just the center of mass because the idea is that all of the a center of mass is a point in space where it is as if all the energy, sorry, all the inertia, all the mass is concentrated there. And um, so we would often want to consider that the center of mass, okay? And we would be very tempted to say that the work done on a system of particles is equal to the, ex there's the sum of the external forces times the displacement of the center of mass, okay? But the problem is that this, 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 uh, this little equation over here is equal to the kinetic energy, the change in kinetic energy of the center of mass. Now, the, the problem with this is that when you are dealing with the energy of a system, the kinetic energy of a system, the it has two components, if you recall. It has the kinetic energy of the center of mass, which was the non-convertible kinetic energy, and it has the kinetic energy that was convertible. So the kinetic energy of a system is made up of these two components. And when you, when you say uh, the sum of the forces multiplied by the displacement of the center of mass, all you're doing is you're, you're taking into account the delta K of the center of mass. We're not looking at, we're not considering all the other energies that are um, being changed in the system. Okay? So we cannot say, like we did for a single particle, a single particle, we could say W is delta K equals um, sum of the forces times delta X. For a many particle system, we cannot say that. Okay? So what do we do to determine the work done on a system? Well, we know that... Um, let me just clear this up. For example, over here, we've got two carts, there's a spring, and you apply an external force, and, a dis and there's a, the point of application displaces. So what we do is, we know that if you, um, if you add 100 joules of energy into a system, we know that the environment must lose 100 joules, right? Simple energy balance. And so if, um, if we're applying a force of hand onto cart, then we know that there's an equal and opposite force of cart onto hand. Okay? And if this point displaces a delta X or delta R, then we know that the work done by the hand on the cart is the amount of energy that's been transferred into the cart, into the system. And so we know that this would be the amount of energy transferred. Okay? So eventually, we realize that the work done on a many-particle or two-particle system, even a many-particle system, is simply equal to this external force multiplied by the delta x, by the the force displacement at that point. This is what this is saying. So the work 
of a many particle system is the product of the external force and delta xf which is the component of the displacement of the point of application of this force it is different from f times delta x center of mass which is the displacement of the center of mass okay all right so let me just see what the rest is saying here this is also valid for multiple forces okay multiple forces ha acting on the system okay so um, I think that's good enough we'll see you in the next one